blessings, blessings, blessings to you, people of God. This is Christ the Entirety Foundation, and this is Touching the Heart of Reality TV series. Now, you know, we promised you that we had the dimension of, we had the set that we talked, we interviewing people, and people will be talking about uh, the various operations of God. Now, what I mean by this is, you know, the Bible talks about love, the Bible talks about hope. Bible talks about faith. The Bible talks about several dimensions. Now, because we don't want it to be just a matter of the word that people read and then they are able to fraternize with it, we also want to bring out the realities of these operations of God. We also want our viewers to know that, look, if we say love or if the Bible says faith or if the Bible talks about prayer, People are working evidences of such operations. People have caught up these dimensions and they are working in um, these operations. So it is not just um, 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 for reading sake. You understand? It is not just for us to go read about it and we know about it, but we want the practicality. We want to see people who have caught up these dimensions and people who are evidences of this dimension. And this is the reason why we are bringing you the interview session of Touching the Heart of Reality. And I am so pleased and honored to be your host. My name is Ephraim. Um, I am the host for uh, this particular session. And today I am so privileged, I'm so blessed to have with me here in the studio a man that is my brother, someone I've known for a very long time and someone that I have seen he, him walk in this dimension of faith. He has walked in the dimension of faith and faith has become so real to him. Now the exciting part is today happens to be his birthday and today is the maiden edition of our interview session. So I'm so pleased and honored to I mean, host this gentleman. He's a man of his words, he's a man of few words. He's a man that has caught up the dimension of faith and he's a man of the spirit. That is one thing I can definitely say about him. So viewers kindly help me welcome to my studio mr philip Kudo. mr philip you are welcome to my studios this afternoon thank you so much and yes. you are you are really glowing and happy birthday to you it's the blessing and the doing of the lord we thank god we thank god we thank god um, i'm so blessed having you here today to i mean begin the maiden edition of our interview session it's a privilege and an honor and we thank God for your life. Okay, sure. So um, this evening we are going to talk about faith. We are, talk, we are going to talk about faith. Okay. There have been several arguments out there. There have been several arguments in the body of Christ yeah. concerning faith. Everybody is explaining what faith is. But what we intend to do is to push the reality of faith to the many believers out there, to the, to, to, to the body of Christ. For the children of God to know and understand that this thing called faith is a reality that we can walk in. It's a dimension of God that the children of God can walk in. And I, I have seen your life, I have seen you walk in this dimension. And I want you to share your experiences with us. So I'll be taking some one or two questions if you would allow us. Um, so that our, we, we can all learn and can bring from this dimension that you are operating in. So you are welcome once again. To Thank you so you. much. You are yeah. welcome. Thank you so much. So we say faith. I mean, there have been several definitions of faith, but what will you define faith to be or what is faith to you? Okay. Um, first of all, I want to thank God so much for the opportunity and the privilege. Uh, it's an honor to be hosted on this great platform. So um, talking about faith, faith is... Faith is a broad is a broad thing to mm. talk about. Mm. Faith is actually one of the anchors that we have in the body of Christ. Right. And it is one of the things that we cannot miss out in the work of the believer. That's right. So we must actually know exactly what we are talking about if it is actually concerning faith. That's right. So like you asked, what is faith to me? That's right. What I have seen is that faith is 
how much of God one has inside of him. Mm. How much of God I have inside of me. Right. And I will prove it by the scripture. So come with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. It says that, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. That's right. Now that substance is the realization of the things that you are hoping for. Mm -hmm. And that thing there, it is not anything but the thing which is of God. That's right. So if I have faith, it shouldn't be um, something that is of the world, it is of the spirit of this age, or it is of myself. It must be a realization of the thing which is of God. That is right. And it says that it is also the evidence of the things which is not seen. It is the conviction mm. of the things that we have not seen. That's right. But they are realization because God has given us that point, that, that feeling, that prompting to be able to realize and also have a strong conviction because we have realized something. That's right. And when you go to verse 2, it says, For by it the elders they obtain a good report. So That's it right. means if a believer will be successful, mm. it means that he must walk in faith. That's right. So when you go to Hebrews chapter 12, when you enter the next verse, um, chapter 12 in verse 2, it says that looking unto Jesus, right. who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Jesus is the originator of our faith. And that means that for the believer or to the believer, it is Jesus that is the faith. Okay. And so I'm saying that the faith of the believer is Jesus. That's right. So faith is a person, and that person is Jesus. That's right. And if faith is a person, that person must be someone I know by myself That's and right. for myself. That's right. So one thing I say is that faith is personalized that's right and it is individualized that's right so faith is actually how much of god you have inside of you mm -hmm. by the realization of the things of god that god has allowed you to actually fraternize with to experience and by that experience you will get to know god and that god you are getting to know is in bit as we will look from the last scripture Galatians chapter 4 when you read Galatians chapter 4 verse 19 right. it says that my little children of whom I travail in birth again unto Christ be formed in you so there is a formation of Christ in us which we say is the person Jesus so in that formation as God keeps revealing himself to me personally that faith keeps building in me because it is that which I have handled by my hands with God, mm -hmm. which God has allowed me to experience and to fraternize. It is such things that builds faith in me. Okay. And so I said faith is how much of God one has inside of him. Okay. Thank you so much for I mean, this explanation. Now, one thing that uh, keeps baffling people personally, people mostly interchange faith with hope. So people, when talking, you hear them talking about hope, but they address it as faith. Yeah. And when they are talking about faith, they address it as hope. Okay. Can you tell me the clear difference between hope and faith? Okay. So um, this topic is also real because many a times you will see people talking about hope. That's right. Thinking it is faith. That's right. We are talking about faith, thinking it is hope. And like I said, faith is how much of God you have inside of you. Right. And the hope is the things that you are actually believing that is in the future. Okay. But faith is the things that God has allowed you mm -hmm. to experience now. Mm -hmm. That will quicken something in you that will bring the conviction like I talked about mm -hmm. that brings a strong conviction in you mm -hmm. because you have handled it you have experienced mm -hmm. it you have fraternized mm -hmm. with it but hope is always in the future oh I see so faith is now and hope is in the future okay because I have experienced God now 
I have that conviction that God is this particular thing. Wow. But hope I believe that tomorrow God can do this thing for me, or I have hope in something that I'm believing for. Wow. So hope is always in the future. Yeah, wow. and then faith is wow. now. Wow. So um, thank you so much for cutting this clear difference for us. So if I understood what you said clearly, hope is always futuristic. It's something that you are believing it will happen. Exactly. And faith is now based exactly. on your, 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 your things that you are fraternized with, as you mentioned. Yes. So faith, faith, come, faith is now. Exactly. When you feel it, it can happen now. It can happen now. I get it. Exactly. So hope is what we are believing. Yeah, believing Thank you so much. Future. Thank you so much for this um, clarity. Thank you so much. I hope it is getting exciting, uh, my wonderful viewers. We are cutting the clear differences between hope and faith. We, we, we are dissecting faith. And as you listen to the man of God, he says that what faith is the, is the amount of God one has on his inside. And faith is what is personalized and individualized. Wow. It's such a powerful one. Now, man of God, um, one another question that I really want to ask is okay. today, uh, when believers, when we read the word of God, okay. we read stories in the Bible. Okay. For instance, we have, uh, a clear um, story we can talk about is the story of Moses and then the Red Sea. Okay. Now, I I know I know that there are many out there who who doubt their, 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 their intelligence, they question their intelligence that did this thing really happen? Did this thing really happen? And it is because they were not there. So if they read something that, oh, Moses parted the, the Red Sea, mm -hmm. some of the believers think that, no, this thing is so impossible. Okay. These things are so impossible. Okay. Now, I want you to share with me a place in your life or a stage in your life that you think faith has become so real you you you, you, you saw faith made itself manifested okay. based on this how much of god you had in you okay. you applied it and you saw that this thing went okay okay thank you so much for the question sure. also um people of god one of the things we need to cut clearly is that like I said, faith is personalized and it is also individualized. Right. So that means that I cannot go and use your faith. That's right. I can't use your belief. That's right. I don't know the dealings of God with you. And faith has a convictional part that is that is built in the fabrics of your reality with God. For instance, as one gets to know God, God gives a proof or he talks about things that comes into reality and on those things stands the strong conviction mm -hmm. to us. That's right. And if we will talk about how we can use faith, mm -hmm. it will be by the things God brings to you. That's why I said we can't use someone's faith. Mm -hmm. Like you are listening to me, I cannot use your faith, you cannot use my faith. That's right. And if I want to say Moses had his encounter with God mm. separately and differently. That's right. He knew what he, he handled. That's right. He knew what he saw. Mm. He knew what he heard. Mm. I was not there. Exactly. And it was because of the things he heard and see or saw that actually gave him that strength or that mind to think that God can part the sea. That's right. And it was possible because he obeyed an instruction. That's right. But for me, I have to also go to God for myself and by myself right. in order to hear from God and to know what God wants me to do now. That's right. And it will be by obedience to the things that God has asked me to do that I can see a possibility mm. that is now. Mm. And it will be a strong conviction that I believe the God I am serving. Mm. And by those little, little, little things that are happening, it begins to build inside of you and that like i said is the formation of christ in you that's right so one has to actually experience god for himself mm. and by himself in order to build his own faith mm. Mm. i 
I get it. I get it. Okay, sure. So the, thank you so much for this explanation. So what is your experience with God okay. when it comes to faith? What have you experienced that you know this was born out of a result, out of the result of faith? So out of the result of faith that I had, this thing came to pass. Okay. Um, if we would talk about experience, okay. yes, of course, we have a lot of experience. Oh. We, we have experienced one or two things that we can say mm. that is actually bringing a strong conviction in us and it will be because of those things we are actually doing something with God. Right. I will start by let's say um, prophesying mm -hmm. for instance i can hear god and i've been hearing god and i could pick up some things about people and i'll tell them mm -hmm. even though it has not happened mm -hmm. but the moment i begin to tell them those things it begins to happen mm -hmm. and as it is happening there is a strong conviction that is building inside of me mm -hmm. that will become an anchor to my belief in God. Mm. That is just citing an example. example. For instance, recently I was at the workplace, I was late, it, it, it was late, I had to close to work, it was around 11 to 12, mm. and a strange fear just came upon me. Mm. And as that strange fear came upon me, I tried to scan, I tried to check, what was actually bringing that fear because i am someone who does not fear That's right. i don't fear anything i don't fear anybody but except god indeed we fear god That's right. and i was checking to see what is actually bringing this fear mm. i checked i didn't see anything and i continued i left when i left i was going it was almost 12 a.m so i was thinking ah, is it because it is late that is why this fear is coming upon me that i'll be attacked or someone could but i realized no because i've been staying even um, up to more than that hours outside yeah. and i realized it was not that so even in the car i was still contemplating i was still feeling the the presence of fear that was not normal mm. and as soon as i got i got down from the bus i i started fraternizing with god i started i started communing with god and then it was as if i felt as if i was alone mm. and that moment god saw my heart mm. and as god saw my heart he clearly spoke to me and said philip did I not tell you that I would be with you? Mm. Immediately he said that, he said, behold. And immediately I raised my head, I saw a lightning of fire ahead of me. Mm. And it was something that was not like normal. It was not there. I saw literal lightning, fire mm. burning before me. Mm. And it actually prompted me that, yes, God is with me because right. he even told me, there that did I not tell you mm. that I will be with you? Mm. And he will say, Look back. And when I look back, I will see literal lightning. Mm. Literal lightning. No thundering, but I will see the lightning. Mm. Anytime I turn back, I will see a lightning signifying the presence of, of God. It, it was so intense to the point that myself I became afraid wow. because God must be feared. And wow. when He reveals Himself, in the elements, mm. sometimes you can be afraid. Exactly. I became afraid to the point that that thing that I was afraid of was swallowed out. Mm. And then again, I, there was um, a kind of a boldness that came upon me out of the presence of God that was with me. Wow. And that thing quickened my faith there and there. Wow. And it was because I experienced it, mm. I fraternized with it, it built something in me that is called faith because right. I handled it That's by right. my hand. And That's that right. is an example That's I'm right. just giving to That's you. Right. Thank you so much um, for this wonderful example. I mean, so you see viewers out there, it is not just about what we have read in the Bible. I told you that people are living examples. They are living evidences of certain, certain dimensions of God. God. And clearly you can hear what the man of God said. And this has boosted his faith in yeah. God. 
this has boosted his faith in God. That's right. Listen to me out there. Faith is real. Faith is real. Jesus Christ said that if you have faith as little as the mustard seed, That's right. you can speak to the mountain that it should move to a different place and it will happen. That's right. It will happen. So you see, faith is real. Faith is real. Faith is not just something we read in the Bible. But it is a reality that every believer and every child of God needs to fraternize with. That's right. Thank you so much, man of God. But before you go, my last and final question. Okay. I want you to speak to the many viewers out there. Okay. Tell them something. Okay. I, want, I want you in any, any peace of mind that is on, on your heart, that the Lord is laying on your heart, I want you to speak to them. Okay. So, um, thank you for listening uh, people of god one of the things i would tell you is that i said this thing and i'll keep hammering it is that faith is personalized and it is individualized mm. don't leave your faith in another man's hand that's right because you may not know for instance let me say your man of god for instance you could believe in him, have faith maybe in him or whatever it is. But even the Bible says, "Cursed be a man that put his That's trust right. in another man. That's right. It is only God that we must believe. That's right. And so as you try to find God, mm. if he sees your heart and how true and genuine you are, mm. he will show up. And as he shows up, the things he reveals to you will be a strong conviction that will build faith inside of you. Wow. Because there will be the realization and the actualization of the things wow. those are wow. that are of God. Wow. And 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 I would say that Daniel said something. He said um, the people that do know they are God, mm. they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Right. So there is the difference of knowing about God and knowing God. That's right. People know about God I in books, God. in the Bible, or in anything they have read or right. studied or anything. It is just knowing about God. But knowing God is personalized. Mm. And that personalized is about you actually experiencing God for yourself right. and by yourself. Right. And it is by the people that have experienced God by themselves and for themselves mm. will be the people that will be strong and can be great and do exploit. exploit. Wow. So, people of God, my advice or my suggestion to you is that know God for yourself right. and by yourself. That's and right. it will be that by these things, there will be a strong conviction that will be building inside of you that will be the how much of God you have inside of you. That's so right. it is about how much encounters you are having mm. will begin to build you or how much of experience you are having with God will be the faith that will be building That's in right. you. Because if you if you do not know a side of God, mm. you can't believe God That's for right. it. That's and right. it is true. That's right. If you do not know a side of God, you can't believe God for it. What, a, what amazing words uh, to end with. If I understood what a man of God was saying briefly, he was saying that the more and more we have encounters with God, the more solid our faith becomes in Him. That's right. L listen, if you fraternize with the Spirit, if you fraternize with the dimension of God, your, 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 your conviction yeah. in that aspect becomes solidified. That's right. So, big push hard, make sure you you, you 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 make you you have several encounters with him that's right and your faith will be built up that's right thank you so much man of god thank you so much for honoring our invitation thank and we so hope much. to call you again to i mean talk about other dimensions right. we are so pleased having you it's and today great. being your birthday myself and my wonderful viewers wow. we are saying a happy happy birthday to you Amen. may you grow in the wisdom and in the stature of the lord we are grateful sir thank, thank you. you so much so thank you so much um wonderful viewers for being with us we want to remind you this christ the entirety foundation touching the heart of reality tv series and this is the interview session this is the interview session now you see our numbers out there if you have had any encounter that you also want to be on this platform you also want to share your experience kindly pick these numbers and call us reach out to us let us speak let us interact let us all build up in god let us make the christendom or the 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 the, 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 the body of christ a reality listen god is real 
Christ is real. The spirit of the Lord is real. And the dimensions of the Lord are very real. So if you have any encounter, if you have any experience, if you want to be on this show, can you pick any of the numbers and let us talk? So until then, then we meet you next week with our next series. Thank you so much. I am your host. My name is Ephraim and see you next week. Bye-bye. This one. And I want you to follow us on all our social media handles. We are on Twitter. We are on Facebook. We are on Telegram, we are on YouTube, and we are on WhatsApp. You can follow us even on our website, which is www.christtheentirityfoundations.com. Join us and your life will never be the same. Thank you.